been to Senegal from 2004. From here to Guinea, from Guinea to Senegal. Really, the journey was not really good for me because, like, that was my first experience. And, you know, I was the only person speaking English, you know, from Guinea to Senegal. So it was like a hell for me at that particular moment. But I've been to Senegal um, with a brother. I stayed with him for some time. You know, he's a late man. May so rest in peace, Abib. You know, at the starting life was really good when I met him. This was going all well with us. So he was trying for me to, uh, for me to go as far as Italy, you understand? But at that time there was no chance for me to go there because like there was no um authentic paper for me to go there. So the other time he tried hard for me to um for me to go as far as Switzerland. You know, yeah of course I start the trip, we on board on the flight, but there was no authentic document for us. You know, we reached at Heathrow at the airport, then we came down. Then the cops come around, they ask us for documents. So they capture all of us and send us back to Senegal. You know, after a few years, I lost my brother who was with me. You know, at that time, I started a new life. And life was really, really, really hard. You can't believe I was sleeping outside in the corridor. You know, so like, um, and the most expensive thing about Senegal is people, they are very racist too much races. You know, sometimes you go out in the street, they call you Nyak. You know, and when they call you Nyak, it seems like um, you are an uncivilized person. You don't even know anything about yourself. You know, they intimidate us a lot. You know, sometimes if you go out in the streets, you know, cops will come around you, hey, excuse me. You know, they interact a lot of people. They intercept you, intimidate you. You know, so life was really, really, really hard. And as for me, I don't think I will never make an attempt that's kind of journey. You know, if I want to make any attempts from here to Europe, I think the best I can do is for me to go straight, you understand, know, without using any bypass or go on the temple or no. You know, temple run is very risky to everybody. And I'm sending I'm sending out this message to all Africans, you know, let's be we are and be careful. If you want to travel, yeah, we all know everybody needs opportunity, everybody, everybody wants to go out there. We need our life to be a better life. We need to live a better life. But the most important thing, get the right documents, get the authentic uh, paper, go straight. Don't use the temple road because it's very risky. You know, so this is all I have to say. Thank you.